I think it's time we blow this thing. Get everybody and their stuff together. Okay. Three, two, one, let's jam. This had a drink today. We're talking about Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop is a um, amazing anime. It came out in 1998. I was a huge fan back then. In my mind, I thought it had to have been older because it's just so cyberpunk and 80s feeling that I thought for sure that we were just getting the translation in 1998 here in the States. But in fact, it actually was created for 1998. If you're not familiar with it, it is very jazzy signature soundtrack by Yoko Kano and the Seatbelts, as you uh, were entertained with my, in my cold open there. It's a, a space western noir cyberpunk that takes place in the future, not that far in the future anymore, sadly. Follows the exploits of a couple of bounty hunters, Spike and Jet, uh, aboard the Bebop their spaceship. From episode three on, they are joined by Faye Valentine, American, uh, frequently cosplayed. Her wardrobe makes one ask a lot of questions about shoulder thongs. I'm pretty sure that it's suspenders that just connect in such a way that makes it really look whatevers, whatevers. And uh, Ed, who is a uh, hacker child. I'm sure you're looking for Faye. It's been a long time since I've watched it all the way through. And in truth, I wonder if I would like it as much as I did back then. I think I was a much angstier man in 1998. It was refreshing to me as a teenager to see something that was like so hard-boiled, noir, and animated at the same time. There wasn't a lot of that. And the soundtrack was amazing. I, I was a freaking nerd. I used to just drive around listen to that stuff. It was great. I loved it. So we do see a fair amount of drinking in the series, and most of it is just nondescript straight spirit drinking or a beer. And when I was looking for drinks to make from the series, a lot of people said, oh, I should do an adaptation of Red Eye, the drug that we're introduced to in the first episode. Yeah, keep those eyes open the trade of which a lot of the series revolves around. I don't know, it's... I feel like there's better places to go. So this episode is The Drinks of Cowboy Bebop, and I did a lot of research to pull three specific drinks, one for each of our characters. We're gonna do a Spike drink, we're gonna do a Faye drink, and a Jet drink. So we're gonna start with Spike, who prepares himself a prairie oyster. <laughs> while a brawl rages around him. He's, he's nervous in a hangover. He's gotta make his, his, his eye opener there and then it drops in his lap. So I'm gonna make this in the glass, in a small glass. Now, most prairie oysters are actually non-alcoholic, but I know for certain that Spike's isn't non-alcoholic because there's a big bottle of Boofeeder gin sitting right next to him. If you start to make a prairie oyster by adding an egg yolk to the glass, you're going to have it in. It's mandatory that the yolk is unbroken. I see. <laughs> then we're gonna add just a little pinch of salt and a little black pepper. Toss that in there. A couple dashes of this Worcestershire sauce. One dash of hot sauce. Traditionally, I think Tabasco, but I, I don't have any problem doing Cholula. I really like Cholula. And normally that's the whole thing, that's it. But we know that Spike's got beef boof eater in his. I couldn't find any boof eater at the store, but I did find some beef eater. So uh, I'm gonna add an ounce of beef feeder. Beef feeder. I kind of like it non-alcoholic, to be honest. I feel like this would be really good without the gin. Spike puts gin in his. I'm actually just gonna add it as like a flavor. I don't know how much Spike is putting in there. Uh, the idea is to put this right down the hatch as quick as you can. Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> the gin is nice. I actually like the gin there much more than I thought I was going to. That's pleasant. It is salty and Worcestershire and saucy with a lingering bit of heat from the hot pepper. I like that a lot. Without the gin, that might become part of my morning regimen. I'm enjoying that quite a bit. The next drink that I want to make is a cowboy. This is a real drink. There is almost nothing to it. I've never had it, but Jet Black orders one on Callisto when he stumbles kind of cold into a bar trying to track down Faye and Julia during an episode called Jupiter Jazz Part 1. Jet, cold and weary, walks into a bar, asks the bartender if he knows how to make a cowboy. 
I want a cowboy. Forget it. There are no bounty heads around here. Bartender seems confused by it, but when we cut back to that scene later, we see him with it. So presumably, Jet taught him how to make a cowboy. Whiskey with light green. <laughs> that kind of cowboy. Right. Yeah, you couldn't possibly be a bounty hunter, could you? <sighs> cowboy is very simple. It is one part half and half and two parts bourbon. One ounce of half and half. Old granddad. Seems to be my bourbon of choice today. Two ounces of bourbon. Old granddad. Bounded bourbon. The best earth bourbon there is. I wonder what kind of bourbon they drink in outer space, actually, on that series. That I don't know much about. I don't think people are still making anything on Earth, so they must be drinking Mars whiskey and stuff. The next part of a cocktail is to shake it over ice. Strain this into a cocktail glass, in this case a sour glass. That's it, that's a cowboy. I don't know why this drink is called the cowboy, but that's what it is. It smells like bourbon. Better than you'd think. Huh, never had one of these before. It's not very developed, but it's pretty drinkable. If you like bourbon, it tastes like bourbon. I mean, like you get kind of everything that's in that old granddad for me, which is mostly peanuts and like Bernie caramel. I, mean, I think that the half and half might be actually lengthening the evolution on it. And it does add a kind of creamy mouthfeel that I really like a lot, actually. It's pretty good. It's a little bit jarring because it's like, it's, an uns it's totally unsweetened and shaken, and I don't think there's too many things that you throw in a shaker that don't have some kind of sh sweetener in them. Definitely not my favorite drink, but it's not bad. So during the episode from Jupiter Jazz Part 1, Faye is really drowning her sorrows. She's hanging out in the bar, listening to a saxophone player play, and just drinking glass after glass of vodka. Saxophone player uh, kind of strikes up a conversation with her and takes her home to kind of look after her. Points out that he's not interested in ladies, so that she's not in any danger from him. Now she's been drinking vodka all night, but now she's not feeling so good, she's got a cold. He makes her another vodka drink, literally just a mixture of hot water and vodka. I have pretty low expectations for this one, but that's that's how the cookie crumbles. Some, some vodka. I don't know what the space vodka was that they were using. It's like Poo Feeder Gin or something, you know. That would be double, I'm gonna go to triple the volume in hot water. Okay, so here's my vodka and water. I mean, there is something very pretty about it. It's just a crystal clear glass of liquid, steaming. Mmm, smells a little bit like a doctor's office. This tastes exactly like a hot glass of water. I don't want to disappoint you. It smells like vodka. It tastes like hot water. There is nothing in this drink. So it's pretty disappointing. I had some ideas though, knowing I was gonna make this drink about how I might improve upon it. Let's put that away, that's not, that's not good. So I'm gonna actually kind of make a vodka toddy here. It was a curative in that episode. It's a thing that she's taking to feel better. So I have some ideas about how we might do that. We're gonna add, oh, about a half an ounce of a rosemary simple syrup. Made that, it's nothing more than simple syrup that was cooked with some sprigs of fresh rosemary. Then I wanna take one lemon and I'm gonna slice this up. We're gonna make some thin slices of this lemon. The thinner, the better. And I wanna set these kind of inside my glass. I wanna add two ounces of vodka. Now I wanna add this hot water, it's just shy of boiling. I'm gonna pour in four ounces. You know what would look nice in there, I think, and, and smell nice too? sprig of fresh rosemary. So this is my improved Faye's vodka toddy. This is what Gren really should have made for Faye. What a lovely aroma, that lemon and rosemary, you can't miss. That's nice. The mildly lemon, just the right amount of sweetness, good warmer. The vodka disappears in it, there's no alcohol taste at all. It's just like a nice, soothing cup of tea, almost, except there's no tea in it. Perfect for somebody who's under the, under the weather, a great little version of a toddy. That was the drinks of Cowboy Bebop. If there are more drinks from Cowboy Bebop you wanna see me do, that's great. If there are other animes we should do, let me know. My watches are provided courtesy of my good friends at Crown and Caliber. If you have an interest in watches, you should swing on by the link in the pinned comment below. My barware is all courtesy of Barfly Mixology Gear. If you like the tools I'm using on the show and you want to pick up a set of your own, there is an affiliate link in the pinned comment below. I suppose this would be the part in the show when like, it should just like rain and I could like brood in an alleyway, and smoke a cigarette, and say something tragic and aloof. 
The real folk blues. That's the closing credit song. It's like dead on. I nailed it. I know I did. Check out some of my other stuff. I did some pretty cool things once. I'm still cool. You could watch this video or that video. Watch them all like Pokemon, but it's me. You got to watch all my videos. You got to watch them all. Maybe that's my new catchphrase. Got to watch them all.